Genesis. Uh, playing it on the Xbox 360, the Ultimate Genesis Collection. Uh, this is a game that I just was kind of messing around with the other day. I didn't make a recording of it because I wanted to see... Um, I kind of wanted to get a handle on it. And this demo is going to kind of give you an idea about <laughs> how kind of insane this game winds up being. I thought it was going to be a pretty unremarkable uh, side-scrolling shooter. It looks like to be a pretty bizarre melee brawler with no jump button and very few and some pretty wacky uh, side missions like this uh, so we're gonna give it a go actually i said to the easy level because i'm actually trying to unlock alien syndrome if i get to level three without losing a life i'll get alien syndrome so i'm setting it to easy for now um so i'll do another video once i try to the hard difficulty level this is on the easy difficulty level so i can um unlock that unlock that another game unlock alien syndrome here but as usual i'm going to represent i'm going to pick our female character right here uh don't worry about the concept the concept apparently is you don't know what's real and what's an alien well trust me everything that moves in this game is an alien even those barrels you see in the back they're aliens so uh yeah don't even worry about it i got the rapid fire turned on so we'll see how that goes uh uh, the first time I played this game was actually on the normal difficulty level, and I hate to break it to you guys. Um, I don't have a manual for this game. I was just kind of winging it, and I got to level four uh, without a manual <laughs> on my very first try on normal difficulty. So that's not that's not boding well for this game. We'll see how long it lasts, but it's no battle to it. I'll put it that way, which could be a good thing. But uh, one thing you'll see here is that it's, I said it's sort of a melee brawl, although instead of punches, you use this flamethrower thing. Uh, other characters have uh, electric whips, things like that. But you just kind of mash on this button and you automatically uh, shoot a little burst of uh, fire right in front of you instead of punching, which I guess is more makes sense. And there's no jump button. You only have this, which is this uh, evasion attack, which goes from one side of the screen to the other. So things can get pretty pretty nuts here in this game in terms of the pacing. I mean, you can really, you can really, you know, <laughs> uh, you can really go from one end of the screen to the other without any effort whatsoever. So this is not a game where you walk slowly to the right and then punch things. Uh, it seems to be a lot more active than that. And the pacing, I think, really is what impressed me the most early on. And you're seeing right here, I mean, this is not your typical, you know, your typical, you know, shooter level where you just kind of slowly move some cursor on the screen. I mean, <laughs> this is this is a tweener level, basically. I want to say it's a bonus level, but it's just another diversion from just the constant punching of things, which is a nice touch. Even Final Fight doesn't do that. Um, even Double Dragon definitely didn't do that. In fact, this this is basically the pace of the Ninja Turtle arcade game, if you remember that, it's actually a bit faster than that game, in that you have a, a slightly larger move set, not by, mu not by much, of course, but pacing's a lot better. So, as you can see by how quickly I'm able to move around and kind of, kind of avoid and evade all of these bad guys, uh, it really makes for a more, it really makes for a more intense uh, beat em up experience, at least at this stage. Um, although, as you can tell early on, even on the harder difficulty level, there's no... You're not really going to get overwhelmed with enemies here. And as you can see, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of surprises here. Everything's, everything's an enemy here. Uh, everything that's in the foreground is an enemy. Everything along the Z-axis here going up and down is an enemy. So, if it moves, shoot it. Whoop! Okay, this is a bigger group than I expected. Okay. Wait, what was that about? Was that a bonus stage? Just walk away. Oh, boss. Okay. I think I'm going to lose my energy at one point. Oh, I forgot to show you my uh, screen clearing bomb. So I'll whittle it down a bit. Whoops, I lost my gun. Nope, there it is. Still there. So this thing's fast, but whoop. Yeah. I'm a little bit faster, but you're still going to catch me. Of course, I can't lose a life. That's the problem. So we're going to have a problem. I guess there's a pattern here I need to learn. I don't remember if there's a boss in the next level. Okay, it's going to be a problem. Okay, maybe it alternates. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, these are bonuses. 
apparently the gun that I'm shooting has an energy meter, and I and it gets depleted every time I miss. I don't know exactly how this works. Okay, here's a nice little diversion right here. Something a bit faster. Oh, yeah, and of course. Whoop! That's automatic. Don't worry about that. Uh, it's just a spectacle at this point. Whoop! That wasn't good. And I can jump. Like that. That. Kind of a layout. Full layout. <laughs> I forgot, duh, I forgot I had the rapid fire button. Okay, so... Ugh. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. If there's a strategy here, I'm not really following it. <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to really... Whoop, I unlock Alien Syndrome. Yay! Um, so that was pretty easy. So I'll just keep going till I... um. Where did I get to level 2? Well, I guess that was mission 2? Okay, no problem. Uh, so, I guess I'll give it a real go next time on the harder difficulty level, get a better feel for the game. But if I die, I'll look at the other characters, see what their, um, see what their, uh, abilities are. I'm under the impression this is a game where everyone's the same. Everyone's just a pallet squad, basically. <laughs> In fact, as I recall, okay, one of those mailboxes didn't turn into an alien, so I guess that's a surprise. Yeah, okay. See, they're all enemies. What's the, what's the prize here? Like I said, this feels like Ninja Turtles. Apparently this, the arcade game had, um... Whoops, forgot to change characters. Uh, apparently the arcade game allowed you to play three characters at once. This conversion only allows two at a time. As you can see from the pace of the game, it seems pretty ridiculous. And there aren't that many enemies on screen. Maybe there are more in a two-player game, but it doesn't look like much from here. I'll give it a go later on. This isn't, a, this isn't like Final Fight 3 on the Super NES, where you can just get an AI character to play along with you, because that AI character just made the game even easier than it was. Final Fight 3 was not that hard, even on its hardest difficulty level. I can, I can testify to that. The first Final Fight is still, still the hardest of the series by far. There's no, no, no question there. Okay, so I forgot to switch characters, and that sucks. So next time I play through, I'll use the uh, cyborg guy for a little different look. I think I can shoot those little gold clouds there. Let's see how it goes. Yep, shooting them out of the sky. This is supposed to be the easy level, but um, it seems to be about the same level as the as the normal level I played. So I'll see if the hard mode's any harder or significantly harder. Okay, yeah, and I set my energy on level, uh, what do you call it? It was on level, uh, it was on the easy level too, so that's probably why I have so much energy here. That, that, okay, there we go. Okay, I hit, so I hit him with something, I don't know what it was, I think I hit him with my gun. Like, I literally, like, <laughs> brained it with my gun. Yeah, as you can tell by the assets, there's a lot of sameness to the assets here. Even though they're well animated and decently detailed for what they are, and the co but the uh, the graphics, eh, artwork's not that great. Color palette's very limited, as you'd expect from an early first gen Genesis game, pretty much. Uh, pacing's really what this is really about. I mean, 16-bit games. I mean, this is a game that's a lot faster than any NES game of of its type. I mean, it's faster than any of the Double Dragons. Way faster than the Ninja Turtles arcade game conversion they made. Ninja Turtles 2. Certainly faster than uh, Manhattan Project. So again, this is the kind of pace you couldn't really get on an NES game back in the day. It's just even if you could, I don't think you'd be able to handle all these sprites without all without, without a lot of flickering or slowdown of any sort. You know, I'm I really doubt you'd be able to get the uh, multiple character, the two uh, playable characters on screen without really shrinking the sprites. Okay, I'm not gonna try and fall down that manhole. Okay, why not? Okay, I can't fall down the manhole. So at least Ninja Trolls does that better. Yep. Yep. Again, I can get from one side of the screen to the other. What? Of course, that can also happen. So that sucks. Yep, see? I guess I can't stay too far away or else they start jumping on me. So this is basically, yes, I guess you could say this is a Ninja Turtle game. I forget when did the Ninja Turtle game come out? Right around this time, I think. Oh, yeah, this level. Yeah. Shooting mad balls at me. No, this is supposed to be the easy level, but there's a lot more going on here than I expected. Yeah. 
Okay. There he is. Yep, definitely mad balls. <laughs> Although I admit some of the design on the aliens is kind of interesting. We're not talking about a game with a whole lot of <laughs> with a whole lot of great looking visuals. So for the most part, I'd say this is about average. Maybe the alien designs put it slightly above average. I'll give it six out of ten on that level. Uh, but uh, sounds. Uh, I don't. I'll get to the music later. I didn't really give it much of a listen. Seems seems interesting. I guess. Did get a chance to check out the stereo sound though. I'll do that later. Okay, so we made it up to level five. Maybe that's better than I did last time. But again, that was on normal difficulty. So I've died once. That's right, do I have one life? I wasn't paying attention. So that's something. And what do I get from this guy? There we go. A little bit of energy. Whoop! That's Ninja Trolley. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Let's see if I can go them over to this side. Kind of bait them. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're clear. Yeah, not, a lot, not really combos here, just like, you know, two bursts of flame and a melee attack, and that's pretty much it. Whoops! That's, that's, I mean, again, you can't jump, so you have an evasion, so you have an evasion roll, and you can't stop in mid-roll, apparently. I'm going to try, yeah, I can't stop in mid-roll. So when you jump, you're, con you're committing to get to the other side of that screen. So, let's see, I was trying to bash it in the head with my gun, <laughs> which is kind of cute. Yeah, and occasionally she pull occasionally she pulls out a a, a submachine gun. But again, it's it's kind of battle toadsy. It's kind of just press the button and stuff happens, you know. Not a lot of strategy here. This isn't like Final Fight where every move that comes every move that you throw is meaningful. You know, that third punch that your basic combo in Final Fight means something because that third punch determines whether you throw an uppercut or whether you turn around. You can't turn. You can turn around and throw that third punch, and then throw the guy behind you. So the combo that, so the move that you, the move that you that you did when you released the attack button mattered in Final Fight. I'm not sure it matters too much here, but this doesn't seem to be a game that's very technical. Okay, press start. Okay, I can't switch characters. Okay, that's. So I'll just uh, next time I'll just play through as uh, the cyborg dude. I think. <laughs> 